Hi, my name is Cami Kotler and I played Elizabeth on the Waltons and uh, we're going to be making a little video talking about The Foundling, which was the first episode of the Waltons TV series ever aired. And then they come down to the living room and Holly gets to fingerspell for the first time. And everybody clusters around her. And we have a zoom into Elizabeth's reaction because she is a jealous child. So the next scene is in John Boy's room. There must be a big fan set outside that window because of the way the curtains are moving. Now keep in mind, every scene in the school was filmed on the same day. So they would film it um, and then we'd go change our costumes to be a different day. I can't tell whether I love these scenes between Richard and Tammy because they're just the best thing ever or I love these scenes because I've seen them so many times um, that they just seem perfect, right? Just through repetition. Like, how else could you play these scenes? I've always had a lot of empathy for Marsha. I mean, she's, she's horrible to John Boyd, but I feel like she kind of knows that she's the wrong girl for his affections. <laughs> because he's a writer and super into language and she's just a little simple, right? So now we're back um, in Godzi's store. Oh, I can see a Ouija board, which is amazing. Does it make sense that it was on, on the set for the episode we did where there actually was a Ouija board fig, uh, feature, but I guess we ended up with a Ouija board there any, anyhow beforehand. All that fruit in back is plastic. It's Elizabeth's big reaction shot. Oh, she's scandalized. Oh, a betrayal. He's been saving that quarter forever to buy the dominoes they wanted and instead he just throws it all away. Ooh, here's my big shot. Zoom back in. Elizabeth is just horrified. And now I'm lagging behind because I'm bent out of shape. I have sandals on now. I'm Ooh, I'm Dan. mad. I can just about remember this scene too because of, of Michael holding my face and how weird that felt. And then Ellen says, I find out that I'm not the only pebble on the beach, which was actually, I think, the name of Ellen's book. She, she was a writer too. Um, all of this is ad lib, so everything Judy's saying, Mary Ellen's saying, is just what she feels like saying. It makes sense for the scene. Gosh, my hair looks tidy in this shot. And then we, camera lens pulls back, we widen, and we can just see Ruth, Holly's mom, watching her play happily. <gasps> Except for John Boy emerges out of the brush. And then we zoom in closer, which is so 70s, you really don't see people zoom anymore. So if you notice the little bricks that are around the flowers on the pathway to the front door, those are really good to, to like walk on if you were a little girl. You could balance on the points of each of those bricks and it would entertain you. And sometimes they'd, they'd just pop out of the earth and you'd have to sort of put them back before anybody noticed. So it, at that moment right there, right, I'm sitting on the porch, Erica or Holly comes over and sits next to me, we have our little exchange and then then she leaves and then I leave and the thing to remember is that when I exited I was exiting to the left of the camera so if you're me right and I'm the camera here looking this way then you'd have to brush past the lens over here and there might be a lamp over here and some some metal stands holding um, holding, what are they called, holding like um, different shades and, and devices and filters for the different lights. So often when you exited, you had to kind of exit like you were walking into the big wide road, but really you were walking into a space about this big between all the different pieces of equipment. Um, and sometimes you, you would just be able to get past the lens and have to stop because there would be too much gear between you and what was behind it. Not as much outside because there's just more space for equipment but it's, it's hard to remember that it's not real. So Elizabeth's making a move. A little trot. 
So when you see Elizabeth do things like run, stop, turn and look back, that's scripted, right? That's directed by the director. Go to that point, stop, turn and look back, and then keep going. And now I'm signing go back. Go. And it's, you can see my lips moving a little bit when I'm signing because I'm spelling the letters. And then you can see Erica try not to move her lips at all because she's supposed to be deaf and she wouldn't be speaking to remember how to spell something, but I would be. Now this little clip between Richard um, and Charlotte, I'm not sure where this is taking place on the lot. I mean, there were various green spots, say behind where the barn was maybe, or over behind where the garden was. Either of those places might be the location of this. John Boy's the people whisperer, right? He just says, it's all right. I think you should. And people will do what he says even though he's carrying an axe, right? Like, it's a little menacing when a stranger approaches you with an axe and says, come with me. Joe Conley um, had been acting since, I think, the early 50s, but mostly small parts. Um, so I think, I think Joe, uh, Ike Godsey was a great, a great part for him. And often the character actors and the older actors really appreciated the gig, you know? For the younger actors, there could be some, maybe there's, maybe, maybe there's some other work I could be doing, or you know, how long do you want to play John Boy? And, but for, for Will and for Ellen, and I think for people like Joe, it was a delight to have a regular part that was a good part that you could enjoy working on a nice set with people you would um, enjoy working with. And I'm telling you, those crackers are stale. Thanks for watching this part of uh, Cami narrates the foundling. Uh, if you want to know when the next part is uploaded, go ahead and click on the little bell, and that will make sure that YouTube notifies you when we've uploaded the next part. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about the making of the Waltons and, and the making of television in the 70s, uh, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, where I answer fans' questions and post whatever I happen to remember. <laughs>